Thanks for joining me today. I'm going to show you how to uh, make a traditional Christmas story and really get in the spirit for Christmas. Uh, but I'm actually going to be putting together a whole kit that you can buy from my website and uh, it can be uh, sent out to you in time for Christmas so that you can do this at home with your family, with your kids and it can be a great activity. So let's get started. We're going to need a uh, wire ring. We're going to need some nice blue pine spruce. Then we're going to need our moss, which will go on the ring. We will need some cinnamon sticks, some fir cones, some uh, oranges, some orange slice, some apple slice, and some raffia. Uh, and most of all, if you're going to have a ribbon bow, we're going to need some nice ribbon. Okay, so this is how we put it together. Okay, so we take our uh, reel wire and we attach the reel wire to the, uh, to the wire ring by just literally winding it round. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to take some moss and the moss we're going to make into sausages and we are going to bind it onto the ring. So we just literally make it into a sausage, we hold it against the ring and then we put the wire over the top of the moss to bind it on. Take some more moss. And then some more moss. Make it into a sausage. And then we bind it over the top. So we're literally just taking the wire and we're passing it over the top, round behind. So that the moth goes onto the ring. And we continue all the way around until the ring is completely bound with the moss. Okay, then if you turn the ring over, and here you've got your real wire, cut the real wire, and then the loose piece of wire, you need to wind it around the frame so that it's attached on and the moss doesn't fall off. And that's our ring. All done. Okay, now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take our blue pine. Now you can use different types of foliages from the garden. It doesn't have to be blue pine. Blue pine is a type of uh, Christmas tree spruce. Uh, you can do, use other types of spruces. You can use, like I say, different foliages from the garden. But for this one, because it's a traditional one, we're gonna use blue pine. If you turn that upside down, and then you cut off all the bits, to one side, Okay, now what you'll end up with is you will end up with different size pieces. Okay, so for instance, there's a small piece. Yeah, 23. So a bigger piece like this, we're going to cut it in half. By in half, I mean turn it over and then cut it here. So you end up with two pieces of equal length.
So we're going to take our reel wire and we're going to reattach it to the moss. So just put it through the ring, take it back over and twist it around itself. Okay, so that's now reattached. Then you take a piece of pine or a couple of bits of pine, hold them together against the ring like this. Okay, and then you bind them onto the ring. And you put it against the side and you bind it onto the ring. And you can use all the small bits, don't waste anything. And then you just keep doing that until you've gone all the way around the ring. Okay, so we're nearly finished. I'm almost completely around the ring. The pine is starting to join. Okay, so once we get to there, and we've gone all the way around, we're gonna turn the ring back over again. We're gonna do the same as we did before. We're gonna cut off the wire. We're going to tuck the wire back underneath the frame and we do that a few times so that we know that the wire can't come undone. We just go round and round and we just almost like you're sewing, you're just pushing it underneath the wire ring nice and tight and then you cut it off. Okay so now we've got the uh, wire attached the ring is complete, and as you can see, it's, it's uh, covered all the way around, and we've got a hole through the middle. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to put the ring to one side, and now we're going to wire off all the materials that are going to be decorating the ring. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to wire up first the uh, sliced orange. So what we need is we need some thick stub wires, and we're going to push the wire through, so these are sliced oranges, I'm going to push the wire through the orange so it comes out the other side. So you need to get it so it goes through one slice and comes out of the slice on the other side. Okay? And then you bend the wire round and the two wires cross over and then you hold them together and then you twist them. Okay? So we push the wire through and it comes out the other side. Small amount of wire here long piece of wire here, cross the two wires over, hold the two wires together in your finger and your thumb and twist the orange. Okay, now it's attached to the wire. Now we keep going until we've got all of our oranges wired.
Okay, so now we're going to wire orange slice. So what I would do is take about three pieces of orange slice, take your uh, wire, push your wire through the orange slice, small piece, long piece, cross the two wires over, and then twist. So now they're attached. And then you keep doing this. Another one. Two pieces of wire, cross them over, and then twist. And through the three oranges, cross the two wires over, and then twist. Okay, so it's the same procedure for all of these items so far. You push the wire all the way through, you have a small end and a long end, you cross the ends over, you hold them between your finger and your thumb, and then you twist. And that small end and the long end is very important. You don't want to have a really long piece because it, what will happen is when you're pushing it through the wreath, it will get stuck, okay? So it's just a short piece here and then the long piece. Okay, and that's all the apple slice done. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna wire fir cones. So to wire a fir cone, take the fir cone, hold the fir cone upside down, and you take your wire, and you push your wire into the open end. So I call this the bottom, and I call this the top. So we're wrapping it into the bottom section. And again, you put it in so it goes around, and then when it gets to this point, the two wires cross over. We have a short wire and then the long wire. Hold these two together and twist the fur cone. Okay, so to repeat that again, hold the fur cone upside down. Put the wire into the open section and take it around so that you have a short piece and a long piece. Cross these two pieces over and then hold them in your fingers and then twist the fur cone. Okay, now it's attached. And then continue to repeat this until you've got all of your fur cones wired up. Okay, so the next thing to wire is your cinnamon. This can be a little bit tricky, but it's not impossible. You take three cinnamon sticks together, you hold them together as tightly as you can so that they're, they kind of don't move, you know, they've kind of found their positions where they're locked in place. Take your wire. You have a short and a long piece. So you pass it over the top, so it crosses back over, short piece, long piece. When the two are crossed over, twist them as tightly as possible so that when you hold the cinnamon and you shake it, it doesn't drop out, okay? If it drops out, then it's not tight. Um, there is a little trick though, if you find this a bit difficult. So once you've got the wire on there, take a piece of raffia and put the raffia around going over the top of the wire as tightly as you can and then tie it together. This will help to keep the cinnamon from dropping out. It's very important that you do this because what you don't want to happen is when you have the, uh, the door wreath on your front door and you're opening and closing your door throughout December, you don't want anything dropping off, okay? So you can see that that's done doesn't fall out. Then you just need to repeat that process with the rest of the cinnamon and then you'll be ready to uh, start putting it together. Bring back our ring and the first thing we're going to do is we're going to put our fur cone on top of the ring. Okay so we take a fur cone and we hold the ring up slightly and we're going to push the fur cone through the ring. Okay. So the wire comes out of the back, okay, just here, and then as it comes out of the back we're going to cut it off so we've got a shorter piece of wire, and then we're going to bend it and we're going to push it back into the ring. Okay, and by doing this now, the fur cone can't fall off. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put these on in clusters around the ring. 
so you push the wire through, it comes out of the back, you cut it off so it's shorter, and then you push it back into the ring, and then the fur cone can't fall off. Okay? And then I'm going to twist the ring around, so I've got three. Okay, so I've got a cluster of three fur cones here, and then I'm going to twist the ring around, and then I'm going to put a cluster here, okay? So what I'm going to end up with is one cluster, two cluster, three cluster, and I'm going to leave a small space here at the moment. this so far. One cluster, two cluster, three cluster with a gap at the bottom. Okay so the next thing we're going to do is put the oranges in. So the oranges are going to go in between the fur cone. So one, cut it off, push it in. Number two, cut off, push back. So we have two here. Pull it through hard, cut it off, push the wire in. So this is where we're up to at the moment. We've got our fur cones at the top, fur cones on the two sides, and then we've got two oranges on either side, and then we've got one orange at the bottom. Okay? So the next thing we're going to do is bring back our orange slice.
Okay, so that's all the orange slicing. Now it's looking like this. Okay, the next thing we're going to bring back is the apple slice, and then that's going to go in between. Okay, and now our last piece of apple slice is going on. Okay, and now we're like this. So we've got a lovely fir cone, we've got apple slice, we've got orange slice, we've got split oranges. So the last thing to attach is the cinnamon. Last cinnamon stick. Okay, so now we've attached everything onto the ring. Okay, and what we're looking at is our design like this. And then the last thing we're going to do is we're going to make a bow. And the bow is going to go in this position here, and this will then be the bottom of the, uh, the jewelry. Okay? So I've got a nice uh, traditional tartan ribbon. So you're going to have a tail and you're going to pinch the ribbon together. Okay? And then you're going to fold the ribbon over so it comes over into the middle. And then you pinch it in the middle again. So this gives you your first loop. Okay? So you're you don't let go here. You have to keep it. Keep held. Okay, so now you make a, a loop of equal size, you go on the opposite side, so now you have two loops. And then we're going to make another loop, here, and another loop here. So now we've got four loops. Okay, and then we're going to make a middle. So we just make a small loop to go in the middle, which goes just here. Another loop here, all the time the ribbon is going from one side to the other side and back, all the time, all the time being held between my finger and my thumb here, okay, and another loop here. And then we're going to just do two more loops. 
like this and one on the side Okay, now switch it to the other hand and hold it between your fingers and your thumb again. Take a wire, put the wire through the central loop and just the same as we've done everything else, you have a short piece and a long piece and you're going to hold them together and cross them over and then twist them together and now the loop can't fall apart. If no ribbon falls out then you know that you've made it correctly. Okay, and then what we're going to do is we're just going to get two ends, so we've got the tail that we started with that's here, and we've got another piece on this side, and we're going to cut them off so they're the same length. Okay, so then the last thing we will do is we'll come to the front of the ring where we had the hole, the gap, the bit we haven't filled in, and we're going to put the wire through the ring in exactly the same way. And attach the ribbon onto the dory. Put it through the back, cut it off, bend the wire and push it back in. Okay, and that's the bow now attached. Now the last thing we need to do is we need to turn the ring around, have the bow at the bottom, take a wire, bend it in half, and we're gonna make a hook. So if you feel for where the ring was to start with, and then you push the wire underneath on one side, and bend it up, and then the same here, and bend it up, and then you twist them round, back around the wire. So you make yourself a hook, so you can hang it. Okay, and that's the finished ring. I hope you really enjoyed that video, and I hope it's, uh, I hope it's come across easy, uh, and I hope you have great fun making it. Like I said at the start, uh, this is great fun for all the families, and uh, uh, kids will really love getting involved. I said at the very start of the video that I'm actually going to be putting together kits so that you can have all of the things you need to make this ring uh, delivered to you in a box and, uh, and you can do this at home. All of those details I'll put in the description below and uh, with a link um, and you'll be able to access them and order them in time for Christmas. I hope you have a really great Christmas. It's been a tough year for everybody, but uh, Christmas is a time of togetherness and uh, being with your family, and I hope that's uh, possible for everybody. Uh, if you've enjoyed this video, please give it a like, uh, and if you're, uh, if you're stuck on anything, you can uh, drop me a comment, uh, or of course, just send me an email, and I'll come back to you with any tips and advice. Look out for my next video. See you all.